We're gonna do a day in the life. It's Tuesday. And that means I have to like edit and work out. Got a Bible study, get my coffee, all that jazz. First thing I did, obviously, just, you know, make my bed just so nice and glamorous. You know, accomplishing that first task of the day is super duper important, and if uh, if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. So, so it is 9:13. I just hung this up. I'm very proud of it. It's in the back of my streams now. I think Kayla said she wanted to work out today, so we're gonna have a gym buddy. So that'll be good, especially to hold the camera because we've tried to hold the camera by putting it on a tripod and everything, and just having having it had to have to like manually focus on me. It's just never worked out very well, and so I'm really glad that I'm actually gonna have someone. Well, I'm getting a very early phone call. I shouldn't have answered in the elevator. Disconnected. Yeah. So you're gonna make some breakfast, and I typically make oats overnight, and as the label suggests, you're supposed to make it overnight, but occasionally I forget. So it's not gonna be chilled, but it doesn't matter. It's pretty much the exact same type of consistency anyway, and you can just down that sucker anyway. So. Oats overnight, I do have a code, ROY15, for 15% off. Great stuff. They just keep supplying me with just all the flavors, and it's fantastic. And this morning, we are going with dark chocolate cherry. I'll be honest, though, my bulk is on just a complete halt. You got the lazy. Because after the COVID sickness, <laughs> it just kind of ruined me. And I, I got off the groove, and I wasn't eating as much as I should have, and I stopped counting my calories, and now I'm just kind of eating as much as I can. Oatmeal. In a bottle. Yo, oh, check out this cool trick though. Alexa, turn on the game room. Okay. <gasps> what? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm watching uh, the SI Qualls and gonna respond to some business stuff, do some tax stuff since April's coming up. Um, so I'll work on that for a bit. By the time we're done editing, hopefully it'll be time for the gym. Uh, I kind of messed up. It is 11.56 and so I'm going to work out in about an hour 15 and I'm going to eat some of my crock pot burrito bowl thing that I made. This is a little bit late. I typically don't eat an hour 15 before my workout, but I'm hungry and that's what it looks like. Uh, so about to hit the gym, filled up my bottle with, with some ice. Uh, do some water and then we put the, the pre-workout and creatine in it creatine doesn't take effect for like I think two or three days so basically the creatine that I took two or three days from today is what we're operating off of and so this is just to kind of keep up with that cycle and then but the pre-workout is for right now it's for today so anyway so what we what we're rocking with? We got <clears throat> bucked up Bamp right here. Uh, flavor is summertime, and then we've got creatine, five grams of that. We throw that in there. So I always used to get warmed up by just starting with the bar, moving up to 25s, and then a plate, etc. But I've been learning to use bands to more properly warm up all the joints. On days I'm going a bit heavier, I've learned to warm up the back more given with these heavier lifts, you're really using a lot more than just your chest, as you should be. I'm still chasing the 225, but with three reps at 205, I know I'm super close, and it's probably down to me just not lifting a lot leading up to the actual PR. I'll try it sometime soon, but for today, we just went up to 205. Today is chest and buys, which I've started doing because I feel like it allows me to not be so fatigued the entire workout. Anytime I did chest and tries, a lot of the exercises overlapped leading to early fatigue. I've been trying a chest and buys, legs, and back and tries rotation. And honestly though, given my chest is probably the most dominant part of my physique right now, I might start doing legs three times a week just to kind of catch up. Since yes, we neglected for a while, but it's on the come up. Despite me pretty much staying at 175, I feel like I'm looking bigger, especially with the pump at the gym. 
I'm starting to get decently vascular in my forearms and biceps, which kind of just popped up suddenly. The most exciting one was actually one in my shoulder here recently, and I don't know, it was just, it was cool. But as you know, once you get to a certain point, you're always going to want the next step of growth and definition. My labrum has stopped bothering me, which is a huge blessing given I felt that was really holding me back from lifting heavy. But my wrists still feel like they're broken most of the time, so I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to shake the pain away from those. Not a crazy workout or anything, but glad we got it in and record for the first time. Gym is over, feels great, and now I'm gonna get chips and guac because I always fill up with that and that's how I get like the clean, healthy fats um, after the, the workout. And so that like has just kind of been my go-to and it's like two bucks in here, so. Okay, so I ate, I didn't show it, my bad. Uh, forgot I had a sandwich, some chips and guac, and now I'm gonna have another portion of my meal prep. It is 4.30 right now and so I'm just going to edit and take a look at the workout footage um, and, and edit either tonight or tomorrow. Get that ready for Friday and then um, around 6.30 I'm gonna head to Bible study. Tuesday, Thursdays are freaking hard because it's like my day off per se and you know this couch be looking mad comfy. I promise I'm gonna do more car content eventually so. I just need somebody to film. Rawr. Super grateful to have guys encouraging me and holding me accountable in my walk with Christ, which if you guys didn't know is the most important part of my life and something I'd love to be more vocal about. I cannot overstress the importance and joy having a community of believers has had on my walk. It's really picked me up on down weeks and given me constant reminders of what's actually important in this life. It's definitely easy to get stressed by all the busy things going on, so having another day outside of church on Sunday to remind me yet again of what matters is just so encouraging. Knowing I have a creator that loved me enough to send his son to die for me, to take away my guilt and shame and count me as righteous in his eyes is the greatest gift I could ever receive. And if you guys have any questions, I'd love to talk to you more about it. Shoot me a DM or drop a comment below. And hey guys, subscribe for the tingling!